Jesus had lots of friends, not just the disciples like Simon Peter, John, Andrew and Judas. Some people he was really fond of was Martha, her sister Mary and their brother Lazarus, who lived in Bethany near Jerusalem. Oh, everything okay, Lazarus? He doesn't look too well. What's up, Lazarus? Are you feeling ill? Yes, Lazarus was ill. He was very sick, very, very sick, and he lay down in his bed. Well, said the sisters, not to worry. We'll ask Jesus to come and cure him. After all, he's already healed people who were blind, deaf, and had diseases. He can come to heal Lazarus too. The trouble is, Jesus is travelling. He's on the other side of the Jordan River. So Mary and Martha called one of their neighbours and said, Look, can you go and find Jesus and tell him that his good friend Lazarus is very, very ill? So off went the neighbour. It took him quite a while to find Jesus, and when he did, he said, Jesus, Martha and Mary have sent me. Your friend Lazarus is really ill. Jesus said, Well, it's not an illness that will lead to death. This illness is actually to show just how gloriously powerful God is and that all will believe in me, his son. And Jesus just stayed where he was for two more days. And after those two days, Jesus said to his disciples, Right, now we're going to go and wake up Lazarus. Well, said the disciples, if he's just sleeping, he'll be much better after his sleep, won't he? No, you don't understand me. Lazarus is dead. So, let's go. When they got to Bethany, they found lots of people had come to comfort Mary and Martha. Lazarus had been dead for four days by now. Martha ran out of the house to meet Jesus on the road, saying, Jesus, why weren't you there when we needed you? If you'd been here, Lazarus wouldn't have died. Why didn't you come? Jesus said, Martha, you believe in me, don't you? Lazarus will rise again. Well, yes, I know at the end of time we'll all be resurrected, but it's now that Lazarus is dead, she sobbed. Listen, said Jesus, I am the resurrection and the life. Do you believe me? Martha ran home and told Mary, Jesus is here. Go and see him. Mary was just as upset as her sister. Why weren't you there for us? Why didn't you come quickly? And she broke down and cried. When Jesus saw the sisters both so upset, he cried too, because he loved Mary and Martha. Then he asked them, Where have you put Lazarus? Well, we put him in a cave down in the cemetery, and we blocked the entrance with a great big stone. So Jesus led them and the crowd down to the cave entrance, and there he looked up to the sky and he called out, God, my father! I know that you always hear me when I call, but I say this so that everyone here will believe in you and believe that you sent me. Then he turned to face the cave entrance and he called out in his loudest voice, Lazarus, come out! It's too late, cried Mary. He's been dead in that cave for four days now. Imagine the smell. Lazarus, come out! Jesus shouted again. Some of the people pushed the rock aside, and then, staggering out of the cave, came a shape, all bandages and sheets wrapped around it, walking into the sunlight. It was Lazarus, alive. Help him get out of those bandages, everyone, said Jesus. What a party started then. Mary and Martha hugged Lazarus. Everyone cheered and clapped Jesus. It was laughing and crying all at the same time. But... Just a bit further away, at the back of the crowd, were some men who were not celebrating at all, the Pharisees. They hurried quietly away to have a meeting about what had happened. Did you see what he did, bringing Lazarus back to life like that after he'd been dead for four days? Everyone's going to believe in him. What's going to happen to us? Our importance and power over the people. That they'll be calling him the King of Israel next. The Romans will turn against us. No, 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 this is just too much. And it was at that moment that they started to plan how they could kill Jesus.